magic uh, method, in my opinion, is one of the most interesting and useful things uh, I encounter in the object oriented methods. <coughs> Uh, pretty much you over in the magic method you can override uh, the pre uh, the predetermined uh, functions such as string like string and parentheses you can you can convert say array or something to a to a string you can define specifically for this object therefore to get your desired um, your desired output for the string for instance, I define it by variable one, variable two. And another is representation is pretty much similar. You can just get a representation by uh, by having a you can have a detailed report or something. Or for equal, it is basically in the condition conditional uh, condition like equal equal. Um, in the object, you can, you have to find a way to determine if they're equal to each other. Then you can set your own criterion of equal. Also, you can set a set criterion for greater than equal, less than equal, and uh, le sorry, less less than less than is important because it's required uh, for the sorting uh, for the sorting function of the object. And get attribute is pretty much you can. You can min, you can, when you set, the attributes, say like you set, variable one equals two uh, equals to two, then I, you can manipulate it and this and then store it into the object, into the attribute of the object. For instance, here I make it. Variable one multiply variable two, then then that means. If variable one and variable two are variable one is one, variable two is two, then by default, then it will be put in as as two and variable two is two. If it's set variable one is two, then it will become four because I need to multiply variable one by variable two and store it into variable one in the attribute. Attribute by the name, by name. Yeah, I set I set a variable like attribute one, variable one. And the call option is fun because uh, it's pretty much change the format. It, at least so far I understand it's pretty much the format. You can change the format of defining an an class an object. Is you would define it set as if it were a, a function. And the way to run what I run it is pretty much I I create a three I just like three three objects and I print them out by this by this by just a usually it will print out object but since I have a magic method change it the string to that way then it will print out the format that I defined. And I can if I do the string A B C it will do that do the same thing, and report representation it will do a do the representation. Which is defined here. Of a report in a sense, and uh, I have greater equal 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 and uh, less than, for. For my. Uh, for my calculation. Uh, for the uh, and also I can sort it before sorting I have a list object ABC and I and I sorted it and print out the object uh, all the objects in the list after sorting and uh, I have base case I change the variable 1 to 10 and see what happens I think I call the I can basically see a one two is pretty much I call the call that usually it, it will be a variable one equals ten variable two equals two but I can call it as if it were a function 
So it's just basic the magic call method right here. And it will give me an error for a equals to one because one is the integer and a is an object. Therefore, it will raise a value error requesting to be this to be in the same class to be the same class. If I run it, um, we'll get all the things. See, it, it will give the output of printing A, printing A is not object anymore, it will become uh, become the format that I, that I assign it, and it will be ABC like that, and the report representation, and the comparison, and the before sorting, after the sorting, and uh, and you can t you can see the default here is one and two, but I can you can see here is two and two. What happened is in the get attribute, I manipulated here to make it one to one to one. We I, let me change it to multiply by a hundred, and see what happens. See now. It become a hundred, four hundred. So this is what happened. The get attribute can pretty much manipulate it, the attribute before it store into the object.